As you all know, I'm a Spanish-speaking person. I'm a Cuban. I live in, I was born and raised in Havana. So the poems I'm, I'm going to read, they are in Spanish, of course. It doesn't mean that I don't know English. I translate many poets, English-speaking poets of the world, not only of the United States and the Caribbean and whatever, but I'm always <coughs> glad and proud to read in the language uh, through which I express myself, Spanish, the mother tongue. It is not exactly because I am the director of the uh, Cuban Academy of Language. No, 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 that was very, very, very recent. And I have been always very, very involved with these stories of, of languages and uh, the relationships and exchanges among languages. I trust and always quote my very beloved poet, Martinique poet, Edouard Glissant, who passed away and, and was a scholar and a professor at Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And uh, he wrote lots of things about, you know, Creole and about metropolitan languages and about the, the role of language. And a poem is a, a structure, it's a construction. We build poems through words and through language. So I'm going to read in Spanish uh, the poem, which is much more famous than myself and happier than myself. It's a very well-known poem, Mujer Negra. And then my great friend, uh, Barbara Pachki, will read the English translations. And then I will read from the new book, of course. Mujer Negra. Todavía huelo la espuma del mar que me hicieron atravesar. La noche no puedo recordarla, ni el mismo océano podría recordarla, pero no olvido al primer alcatraz que divisé. Altas las nubes como inocentes testigos presenciales. ¿Acaso no he olvidado ni mi costa perdida ni mi lengua ancestral? Me dejaron aquí y aquí he vivido. Y porque trabajé como una bestia, aquí volví a nacer. ¿A cuánta epopeya mandinga intenté recurrir? Me rebelé. Su merced me compró en una plaza. Bordé la casaca de su merced y un hijo macho le parí. Mi hijo no tuvo nombre y su merced murió a manos de un impecable Lord Inglés. Anduve. Esta es la tierra donde padecí bocabajos y azotes. Bogué a lo largo de todos sus ríos. Bajo su sol sembré, recolecté y las cosechas no comí. Por casa tuve un barracón. Yo misma traje piedras para edificarlo, pero canté al natural compás de los pájaros nacionales. Me sublevé. En esta tierra toqué la sangre húmeda y los huesos podridos de muchos otros traídos a ella o no, igual que yo. Ya nunca más imaginé el camino a Guinea. Era a Guinea, a Benín, era a Madagascar o a Cabo Verde. Trabajé mucho más. Fundé mejor mi canto milenario y mi esperanza. Aquí construí mi mundo. Me fui al monte. Mi real independencia fue el palenque y cabalgué entre las tropas de Maceo. Solo un siglo más tarde, junto a mis descendientes, desde una azul montaña, bajé de la sierra para acabar con capitales y usureros, con generales y burgueses. Ahora soy. Solo hoy tenemos y creamos, nada nos es ajeno, nuestra la tierra, nuestros el mar y el cielo, nuestras la magia y la quimera, iguales míos, aquí los veo bailar alrededor del árbol que plantamos para el comunismo, su pródiga madera ya resuena.
Mujer Negra. I still smell the foam of the sea they made me cross that night. I cannot remember it. The ocean itself could not remember that. But I can't forget the first gull I made out in the distance. High, the clouds like innocent eyewitnesses. Perhaps I haven't forgotten my lost coast, nor my ancestral language. They left me here, and here I've lived. And because I worked like an animal, here I came to be born. How many Mandinga epics did I look to for strength? I rebelled. His worship bought me in a public square. I embroidered his worship's coat and bore him a male child. My son had no name, and his worship died at the hands of an impeccable English lord. I walked. This is the land where I suffered, mouth in the dust and the lash. I rode the length of all its rivers. Under its sun, I planted seeds, brought in the crops, but never ate those harvests. A slave barracks was my house, built with stones that I hauled myself while I sang to the pure beat of native birds. I rose up. In this same land, I touched the fresh blood and decayed bones of many others brought to this land or not, the same as I. I no longer dreamt of the road to Guinea. Was it to Guinea, Benin, to Madagascar, or Cape Verde? I worked on and on. I strengthened the foundations of my millenary song and of my hope. I left for the hills. My real independence was the free slave fort, and I rode with the troops of Maceo. Only a century later, together with my descendants, from a blue mountain, I came down from the Sierra to put an end to capital and usurer, to generals and to bourgeois. Now I exist. Only today do we own, do we create. Nothing is foreign to us. The land is ours. Ours, the sea and sky, the magic and vision. Compañeros, here I see you dance around the tree we are planting for communism. Its prodigal wood resounds. <laughs>